We are on Kodiak Island. It's been a dream of mine for years. We got here Saturday. We are supposed to fly out Sunday, but the weather was horrendous yesterday, so we didn't get off. Today is still questionable. It looks awesome, as you can see. For Kodiak, this is great. It is supposed to get windy. It's breezy right now. I think he's taking the first group out, and then we're next, if we can go. Going after black tail deer and goats. I'm the only one that has a goat tag since I'm a resident, but mostly we're going after deer. So far, pretty much all we've done is sat in a hotel. Pretty typical for Kodiak, but man, it's just beautiful out here. Doesn't get much better than that. It's gonna be an adventure. So far, people have reported tough hunting conditions, but we're gonna go to the side of the island that wasn't hit quite as bad last winter. Hopefully we can find some stuff. We got four people. Hopefully we can fill some tags. I think we can shoot eight deer total. It's gonna be a fun trip. Try not to get eaten by bears. That's the main thing, I guess. But we have a pretty good camp set up, so hopefully everything will go well. About to get deathly quiet. We no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it out here after what was it, three days? <laughs> well, we got in Saturday, and then today's Tuesday morning. Yeah, three nights in a motel. That's fun. But this looks like an awesome spot. A lot of open country. Saw a few deer on the way in, so I'm gonna get camp set up and. See if we can find some deer, I guess.
Well, we, uh, we've been sitting up here for like three hours probably. And so far we've seen six bears, two deer I think, and a mountain goat. But yeah, there's a lot of bears around here. And the nice thing is our, I forgot to check batteries for the bear fences we have. And apparently the batteries are dead on our bear fence, so. But the air service forgot to throw our propane tank for our heater in, so they're coming back anyway to drop off our propane, so we're gonna have them bring batteries. Hopefully they remember, because I really want that bear fence tonight, for sure tomorrow. But hopefully the bears just stay away from our camp. our tent. Let's just head the other way. We spotted some deer, Colin spotted some deer over on this ridge. So we booked it up the mountain, cut around to the backside so the wind is better. Try to get on them, but we haven't seen them yet since we've been up here. But it's getting down on dark. There was a sow and cubs right down by our tent. Could still be there. The last we saw, they were kind of heading out. But, so we're gonna see if we can find these deer. Shoot them, probably walk back in the dark with meat on our backs with the sow and cubs in the area. So, welcome to Kodiak Island, Jurassic World of Alaska. <laughs> Explain to the people how that was a bust. Didn't work out. Deer, gone. <laughs> we don't know where they went. Yeah. They're just gone. Just disappeared. Well, it's the second morning and we got a late start. It took way longer to get ready. We thought, but we're gonna get up on the mountain, different on the other side of the valley. We saw some deer last night, so see if we can find them again. There was also a goat over there. Do not know if we're gonna go after that. But maybe if we see it, but we're gonna head up, see if we can find some deer. We need to get it done because our trip is being threatened by weather. See what happens. They're not bad. Honestly, it's it's not not bad. See the antlers? Yeah, I think.
I mean, they're in those alders somewhere, right on the edge. They have to be. is awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> man, I'm pumped. That was a stock, man. Oh, good grief. It was. Well, so Colin shot a buck over here after a long stalk. I think he's pretty much dead over there. He's over in there somewhere. They're going to get their packs and then we're gonna go down there. See if we can find him. It looks so different over here. I know. You get up close. If one leg is broke. Oh, yeah. It's not a good deer. Yeah, it right is a good shot. deer. He's got a brow. Oh, I'm saying, like, cutting right down here under the rib cage. I should be able to reach clear up there. Oh, yeah. All right, good luck. Go get him. Well. We are loaded, ready to head back to camp. Beautiful day here. After five days on Kodiak, with bad weather, not being able to get in. <laughs> it's been awesome. Well, we just got Colin's deer all cut up. They're gonna pack it back to camp, and me and Titus are gonna go after this other deer we saw up farther on the mountain hopefully get him shot and probably ain't gonna get him back to camp before dark hopefully we at least get him let's see if we can do this
we got a big ravine that goes down in there. High. He went way high. Huh? Way high. Like a foot, I think. He's still there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just bring it down. Oh, back. Spined. Go lower yet. There you go. I think you got him good. Put another, Yep. You smoked him, I think. Uh, I think he's gonna go down, maybe. There he goes. Rolling boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I'm glad he stayed. I put my I put the crosshairs exactly on. Him. Really? Yeah. At 300, that's crazy. Could just be the way because, you're shooting like, I, too. The first, the second, or the first time I shot, or the second time I shot, after he'd gotten up, I. I I, st I shot him with that second hash mark, and that's when you said I hit him yeah. high. And so I, when he was quartering away, it's like I'm gonna put it right, yeah, right on his far shoulder. And I feel like he rolled down in here somewhere. He's not down in here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, he's down in there. Yeah. Camp way down there. Gotta pack this sucker out the whole way. Stick it in you know, like that. Well, we just got the deer all boned out. Get things packed up. I got my part in my pack. Titus is getting his. And we're getting ready to head back. I think luckily we might have enough daylight to get back to camp before dark. Have to go by the last deer we shot. Almost thought we heard something down there, but I might have been just imagining. We're going to kind of skirt around it. Hopefully there's no bears on it. Luckily, we haven't seen any bears on this side. This is the side of the mountain where we saw all the bears last night, but today we haven't seen anything, so that's nice. But we're gonna throw our packs on and get hiking, get this meat back to camp. Looks like the other guys are already back there, so let's do this. Well, me and Zay had just finished getting this deer boned out and getting all cleaned up and dressed to go look for some more deer. And here comes Steph and Titus with what looks like another buck on their pack, so it is a good day. This is, this is more than we could dream for. You hear the shot? Yeah. The first one was like a foot high. Was he up or below you? Yeah, he got up and was running. Or he's kind of trotting a little bit. Alright, let's go over there. Well, this morning we woke up and where we were gonna go was up past the carcasses. There's a big old grizzly or brown bear on the carcass that we can see from camp. So we're trying to decide if we want to skirt around him or go somewhere else. It's another nice morning though. Hmm, what do we do? He's not going to bother us. 
We see some sign of fun coming through there. Mm-hmm. We're going. So what route are we taking? Straight up. Yeah, straight up sounds fun. That's not a good idea. You know, we've seen more bird, pretty much as many bears as deer. I think he was just dragging his fish out and eating it. That's what he's doing. I'd advise you to go that way. This, come on. At least he's not going to camp on the bright side. Oh wait, hold on, there he goes, maybe. Fire shot just to make sense. Don't hit him though. Yeah, just beside him. In the air or something. Unaffected. Oh no, nope, there he goes, maybe. Ah! Get going! He's just going, and I'm so glad to see that, though. Yeah, you want to get at it. That's, what you want. That's crazy how fast you can make tracks down there, though. Yeah, he's just barely. Well, that was pretty exciting. We had, we were just kind of slowly still hunting along this hill. And we saw a bear down fishing salmon down there. And, I mean, he's heading towards camp, but... Eventually he kind of got tired of that and he was sniffing the air. I don't know what he was smelling, but of course he came right up the hill to us <laughs> Like right towards us. Thankfully we had a lot of open country in front of us and we just yelled and fired one shot and he got out of town Makes us feel a little better not having a bear wandering around down there But that's the third bear this morning Hmm, hopefully the last. And now we've scared all the deer off the mountain, so... I don't think we have. <laughs> How big is it? It's another small one, man. It's like all that's in here. And I think he's looking... I'm not sure. No, he's not looking at us. He's probably looking at a bear Hey, there. there's another deer right beside him. Where? He's looking at the bear. Sure, no. Wait, look at that. Are they spooked? Oh, there is another deer. What is that? They're looking over where that bear much. And now he's they're looking, looking at, at us. We do this in 200 yards. Of course, we're going to be in the open the whole way. Yeah. But. Guys over. Good, I guess. Yeah, he's turned, he's not.
said nothing. Nothing. You missed him, I think. Where the hit? I don't know. Roll it. Is he down? Well, we finally decided just to roll one of those little air bucks because that's all we've been seeing. I have three tags. The big thing is just we're trying not to get over our weight limit on the plane because we want to get out in one flight. But there is, I still have the option to shoot another big buck. Figured I might as well get one. So I think he's down now. Completely missed on the first shot. Not sure why. But my, I, I had a terrible hard time getting steady on the alder branch. Second shot hit him, I think good. And then I put another one in because he kept kicking. Hopefully I didn't mutilate him too bad. With this 300 wind mag. Gotta carry big guns for bears around here. Tell you what, this place never ceases to kick our butts. This raspberry or salmonberry brush, whatever it is, it's like chest high, oh, steep slope. You can see right there how steep it is. Oh, trying to get to my deer. Thought I picked out a spot where he fell, but it looks so much different once you get up here. Yeah, there he is. Steep country. Bears, the worst kind of brush you can imagine. All for these awesome little deer. What an adventure. Be nice if we were seeing more big mature bucks, but I think the winter hit them really hard. Oh yeah, he's out. Oh yes. That's all, uh, that's the only reason I should be carrying it. Ooh, and then, that's why the Cody had to do it. All right guys, we just got done breaking up my deer. And Colin and Titus <laughs> offered, I didn't make them, to pack it out. Back to camp, well, me and Zay I go look for another deer. He's the last one that needs to shoot one before we've all, you know, got one at least. So we're gonna go try to find another deer, see what we can do. There you go, dude. I know. <laughs> dude, that is awesome. See if you can skin him at all. What did he have in his mouth? It's crazy that he ran this whole way up with a fish tail.
Well, we walked this mountain out pretty much. The wind in our face. A lot of good looking country. A lot of deer tracks and sign, but it's just nothing on their feet right now. Seems like after, seems like the morning's the best and then after like 12 o'clock, things kind of lay down and once they lay down in this alders, you just can't see them. Glassed a bunch of hillsides trying to pick out anything bedded. Couldn't see anything, so we're gonna head back, I think. We shot that fox, which is kind of cool, kept the hide. I think we're gonna head back and I don't know, we'll just have to come up with a game plan. What we wanna do. Well, it's been rainy all morning. We just kind of stayed in the tent, but I went out recently and saw a deer up on the mountain and the rain kind of slowed down, so we're gonna try to go after it, see if we can make something of this day. Go see if we can shoot another one. Pretty good buck, actually. I think it's a pretty nice buck. Dude, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. You're gonna have to do it soon. I think you can sneak one in there soon. Wait till that brush clears. God, no, no, he's getting it. You, if you can find his vitals. Hold on, hold on. Okay, in there, in there is gonna be your shot somewhere. I'm afraid he's gonna be gone in the brush now. He may come out in that open patch, you see him? He's gonna come out, okay, okay. Okay, there's your shot, if you can. Can't take so much time there. He's gonna disappear again. He's down. He's down. Serious? I probably spined him. Sweet. Yes. I jerked. <laughs> Didn't see what happened. Huh? <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He was taking so long. I know. It's fine. I I am not letting him get away this time. I know that. I mean, like, yeah, it's hard to know when to shoot. I know, and I had it clear right then. It's probably good you waited. Hopefully. There he is. Oh goodness. He's a nice one, dude. Second biggest. Look at that. <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm tempted to circle up just to make sure that thing gets our wind. Yeah. I know. If it is a bear. When we were coming up here, we saw brush went like swinging around like crazy or something over there. I don't know if it was a bear or another deer. It's another deer we should get up high and see if we can get him up. Yeah, yeah, let's do it anyway. He should be almost downwind right now. There the bear is. They're running high tail the other way. Good night. Stinking close. 
Yeah, they're about over the hill now. You think it's the one that was in there? Yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah, a little bit. When we were walking up here, we spooked something and I ran up the hill to make sure, or see if I could see what it was, and it was a sow and two cubs. Literally, what were they? Maybe 20, 30 yards, barely that, from where we were when we spooked them. Thankfully, they ran the other way. Right by the deer. All right, let's get this thing worked up. Also saw another bear run over the hill after we shot. All right, well it's the last morning that we're gonna be here. We're planning to fly out this afternoon. Got some snow last night. We're gonna see if we can shoot a few more deer before we head out. Hopefully we can find some. He's oh, sniffing something. Bear number 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's running. Or else he's sniffing that carcass because the wind's coming this way. Let me try to go over to the back side. Just getting some different stuff.
Did he start going at him? Or not? Is that why he screwed? Yeah. Yeah, he, was, he took off the decoy. What were you shooting at, Steph? A bear. A bear? Yeah, that's what they were looking at. Oh, I was wondering. Did he scare off? Yeah, he was already kind of running when you guys shot, but he started angling up this way. And I was like, no. Did you see, Get out of here. Did you see the deer when he hit? When he, were you watching him? Huh? Yeah, he rolled like crazy. Oh, so he's down? Oh, yeah. He was a He's right up on this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shot. Did you get it on video? Mm hmm. Yeah, there was another. I walked over here and that's what they were looking at was a bear down there. Oh, really? And then I was like trying to figure out what to do. And I was I wondering. I was in and figured you guys would probably just do the rifle in. I was about ready to do it myself. <laughs> no, he's a good buck though. He's either a four or he might be a six. Yeah, he rolled. I don't know where he hit him. He kept running a range of 200, 210, 220. I told him eight inches. I told him foot at this point. Yeah. But, yeah. Hey, well, that's sweet. Alright. Bye. That is a good buck right there. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> good grief. I knew he was big, but I didn't know how that, I didn't know how big. That is sweet. That's awesome. That's a good deer. It's all rough stuff up here. He's just making a rub <laughs> on that tree back up there. Well, we just rounded this mountain with the meat from Titus's buck, and we had spotted a goat up on this mountain the first day, and we didn't see him since, but I came around here and just glassed that and picked him out. And we don't have much time left before the plane picks us up, but we're gonna, a couple of us are gonna run up and try to run up that spine and see if we can get on that goat, because that's like something I really want. So we're gonna hurry. Well, we made it almost, I mean, like we're even, we're above that goat, but man, it's the toughest call. I don't, we can't do it. We got all this snow last night and there's shale and we're not even in the shale really yet. I hit a few of them, but they are slicker than slick. And we have to go up this and down and it's way steeper than I thought coming down on top of them. And it's just like that, and he's like right up on top. But he could go down the other side, we'd never get him. He can go down this side, he might. Ooh. 
Ooh. There's the Egos. <laughs> yeah. He might, uh, he might go the whole way down, which is either he has to stay up on top or go the whole way down because we're not going to get him if he gets stuck. He's just in a bad spot, and once I'm up here, I can see it more. If I had spikes, I would maybe be more tempted, but or if the snow wasn't here. But it's just not worth it. What hurts almost even worse, though, is I came up over the ridge down there, and I just, I knew I should pay attention and look over the ridge before I just bust over. But I just glanced and bust over anyway, and spooked off two big sick of black tails i'm gonna regret that one like crazy it's two bucks and a doe and by the time i saw them they were 330 yards and running i if i would have quickly threw down and tried to get a shot i maybe could have but they they made some distance fast it is what it is this has been a really awesome trip anyway only managed one deer didn't get my goat but we got five deer total Everybody had a good time, had some cool bear encounters. This place is wild as it gets, that's for sure. We are way up here, <laughs> way up here. I mean, we're looking down on mountains that I thought were huge. Anyway, we're gonna hoof it back to camp really carefully <laughs> and get packed up and get flown out of here. What an incredible place though. It's been a crazy, cool experience.